How about that? Little surprise for you on a hump day. As always, thank you for listening to Headbangers and Hooligans. It's yours truly, Scum Malicious. Had a few random thoughts. Just a few things I... I was going to say that I wanted to cover, but it usually... (laughs) It usually ends up me bitching about something, and we know this, right? Okay? And uh, maybe it is because of the quarantine. Although the quarantine is slowly going away, it is here in Iowa. Uh, I know I'm excited. There's people, that's fucking stupid. Really? Okay? You want to sit in your fucking house the rest of your life? Go for it. I'm not. Okay? I'm going to go out. All right, we're all different. And there's nothing wrong if that's what you choose to do. I'm not going to rip on you for it, but don't rip on me because I like to go out, okay? And instead of buying all the beer and bringing it home, I'm going to go to the bar and buy alcohol. Not that that's all that I do is drink alcohol. It's just, it's something I enjoy. (laughs) And I'm not, and if you don't drink, that's good. Good for you. Uh, it's just something that I enjoy. Anyway, the first topic I'm, I'm going to get into, and remember, these are random, as usual. Just kind of, <laughs> just me talking on the microphone, whatever pops in my head, that's what pops in my head. But I noticed an article, Metal Injection, okay? I like them. It's a website. It talks about some bands that, that I really like, like Iron Maiden, Steel Panther. Every once in a while, maybe some Armored Saint. Even... <laughs> Even though some people be like, I'm insane. That's like 1980s. Yeah, it's fucking 1980s. Yeah, it's not the death metal fucking growling shit that everybody listens to today. Anyway, metal injections like, and this popped up on Facebook because I follow him on Facebook. Kerry King of Slayer and his wife, they bought a new house for $3.4 million. Well, isn't that fantastic? Why the fuck are you telling us this? Why do we fucking care? Good for him. All right? He's a fucking dick. I'm sorry if you're a Slayer fan. I I can't stand that guy. And it has... Well, a lot of it does have to do with the fact that he fucking dissed Odorous. Okay? Greatest front man of all time. Rest in peace, dad. But he's such a fucking dick in his interviews. Uh, yeah, uh, well... Uh, what's his name that died? Hanneman, Jeff Hanneman. Rest in peace to him too. Yeah, uh, I record. I I would write all the the guitar parts. You know, record. You know, uh, record a lot of them. You know, Jeff did. Oh my God, the arrogant fucking asshole that he is. Oh, you mean the fucking same fucking riff that we've heard in about twenty thousand different Slayer songs? Okay, I know. There's some Slayer fans. What? But. Come on. Fuck you. Yeah, he just his just there's just something about him. I like he just he just thinks he's just this fucking amazing person. All right. In 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 his interviews. And maybe maybe if I met the guy, I, w- I would like him. But there's just something about him just fucking rubs me the wrong way. Uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I'm so glad that him and his wife bought a new $3.4 million home during the pandemic. So fantastic. And thank you, Metal Injection, for keeping us up. Keeping us up to date, what's going on in the metal world. And I get it, there's not a lot going on, but really. Anyway, next topic. This Takashi 9 versus fucking Snoop Dogg. What the fuck? What what are these young kids listening to? He is a fucking douchebag. And I know, everybody's be like, oh, he has 55 million followers on Instagram and Twitter and he does this and he's gonna, he's made millions of dollars more than you'll ever fucking make, which is really depressing, actually, now I think about it. I can't, what is he fucking saying in any of his music? And I'm not even a fucking big Snoop Dogg fan. In fact, he's kind of fucking annoying anymore, to be quite honest with you. And a lot of his songs, you know, 
Et dit de bed à dit, but that a pot or door, but dit de bed à he, you know. I, I, I can't think of any of his songs right off the top of my head, but you know, that little high pitched voice he has. But at least we can fucking understand what he's saying, even if it's something stupid. But this, you, you know, he's a fucking rat. This Takashi fucking, I don't even know, am I saying his fucking name right? I don't even know if I'm saying his fucking name right. Rainbow fruit, fruit cake colored hair, butt nugget. Watch out, scumalicious. I know. Calling out a rapper. Fucking. But he is a rat. It's fucking, that's all, that's all everybody talks about, all the fucking people he's turned on so he could fucking lower his, uh, Time in prison, and I don't even know what the yeah. In fact, I think that's what the beef was over, and that's what Snoop Dogg was talking about. And then he talked talked about Snoop Dogg turning on Suge Knight, which is probably a mistake because that guy's a fucking yeah. We all know about the Vanilla Ice story, right? Hanging him out the window. Fuck that, you know, but. Yeah, she's, you know, and it's, just shut the fuck up. I I just don't understand. These, these newer rappers, I, I don't get it. I'm sorry. The mumble rap and the fucking auto-tune fucking voices, and they ain't saying shit. And I, I've been over this a thousand times, so I'm not going to keep pounding that in the fucking ground, but would you fucking tell us something that we don't already know? Okay, we know you're going to get fucking high and you're going to smash some bitch, which I have no problem with. Okay, I just don't need to hear it in every fucking song. Tell us something. Give us something new. Something we haven't heard before. Surprise me. I don't fucking see it happening, but you know, hey, sometimes I do get surprised. What do you, but uh, uh, Bouncing Souls. Yeah, I'll talk about one of my bands. Now everybody get excited. All eight of you listening will be like, oh, he's going to talk about the Bouncing Souls. Uh, they canceled all their tour dates for the rest of the year because of all this shit going on because they don't know what venues they can play and how many people can come and see them, which I don't have a problem with. But they're like, we're going to make it all up in 2021 and tour then. So you got to give them respect for that. And then the people still arguing over politics. Uh, you have every right. I, how many times have I covered this fucking shit, too? Whatever side you're on, it's your opinion. Okay? But I don't give a fuck who is in office. I really don't. I don't think any of this would have changed anything. Okay? Oh, you know, thanks, Trump. What the fucking like him or hate him really doesn't matter uh, who would have handled it differently what fucking Biden what would he have done different you know because I, I there's this guy that's always posting shit about Biden you want that fucking butt nugget as your pres- president you really do what what would he have done different Look up all of his old videos. He says fucking stupid shit, too. They all say stupid shit. They all do dumb shit. They all tell you what you want to fucking hear. You know? But I just see these people arguing about it, going back and forth. I'm like, come on, motherfuckers. Seriously? I know, it was kind of crazy, because I went from the bouncing souls to politics. And I'm actually going to end it with... Music, yeah, that's a quick one. I'm not going to fucking just waste your time with me bitching about shit, but some nuggets for you. Because, you know, I've been listening to a lot of music. I think we all have. I mentioned before, how much more shit can we stream? There's nothing left to stream. We've watched everything. I've watched Pretty in Pink about ten times since I got the DVD again. (laughs) But got some nuggets for you, okay? Some songs you need to check out that I just I totally forgot, and I was one of them happens to be Armored Saint upon my departure. 
In fact, I'm going to upload a playlist onto the uh, Headbangers and Hooligans Facebook page, which I know I'm up to like 44. Can we make it 50? You know, like they do on YouTube. Let's get it up to 50 people. Come on. But yeah, and I'll list all those songs. It'll have uh, Armored Saints on there. Uh, After the Fire, to Commissar. Don't turn around. Uh oh. The Commissar's in town. Uh oh. Yeah. Some, some good German shit right there. Anyway, hope you like it. The All the songs I put on there. Um, just some hidden gems for the rest of your quarantine. The fucking quarantine. All right, you know how I do this. Take it easy. If it's easy, take it twice. I'm out.